and honored to be here. We have one beautiful young lady who is about to be coming up next and doing her thing on stage. Well, thank you so much for having me. Uh, my name is Mikhail Cartwright. I started singing very young. My parents are ministers, so there was a lot of music at home and at church. Just sort of went from jazz to soft rock. Didn't actually ever sing that much Haitian music until I was much older. After the earthquake that I was sort of, I sort of felt my spiritual call, my, my spirit spoke to me and it was like, you got to stop doing this nine to five crap and pursue your life purpose. So I really started to delve further into being a musician and I became, you know, just obsessed with different styles of music, started searching for my roots, my Haitian roots, slowly been meeting the right people and that's how I ended up here was through Haitians who knew another Haitian who knew another. <laughs> you know how it goes and um, they asked me to sing and I was like avec plaisir. Right now I'm here with Ani. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> At first I was like this is not a Haitian name. She said no, it's Ani. <laughs> Bonsoir tout le monde. Non pas c'est Annie Alert. Mais Annie Alert c'est une jeune chanteuse haïtienne. Euh comment c'est musique, pas qu'à vraiment dire qu'il âge parce que maman c'est une chanteuse de l'église, me lever la caillou je tout pour m'a chanter. Grand papa me déconduire guitare dans 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 tropicana, c'est dire que me sorti dans caillou musicien et puis me me lever moi m'a chanter. Même comme vraiment commencer entrer dans musique c'est à l'âge de 14 ans côté que me dans dans concours Haïti que les 10 cent stars sont concours offert pour capable recruter I'm here with the lovely Brie Black. Hi, Brie. You did an amazing job on stage today. You just killed. You just you played the violin and sang. Oh, I, I can't even say you sang. You sang. <laughs> started at a young age. My mom is a singer and a pianist. She always sung and played in church, so my whole family are musicians. But Journey is the person who recommended me. I actually played at his uh, Above Art Studios over there, and he saw me, and he loved me, and he recommended me for this, so I'm here with you today. I would actually love to be like, like a celebrity's background violinist, like in the band, like rocking out on the stage and just touring all over the world. That's one of my goals, so I have a, a few things that I would like to do. So whichever one happens first, it's fine with me, as long as one of them happens, you know. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook. I'm a hip-hop violinist and soul singer, so I do different hip-hop songs and um, neo-soul, R&B, um, and it's Brie Black, B-R-I-B-L-B-C-K. So I spell it a little different, but follow me. And I'm here with the lovely Fabiola. Hello, my name is Fabiola. I am a singer, songwriter, actress, spokeswoman, and also a humanitarian. I've been singing since I was five. Um, my dad is a musician, um, saxophonist, uh, played with the famous Haitian band Topicana, so music was always in my uh, family, in my blood. So I'm excited. Um, at the top of the year next year, I'll be releasing um, an EP with five songs, maybe mid-year, and you'll also see some new projects that I have come Coming up with my twin sister, Fabienne, who's also here today. Um, we're here to support Melky, who's being honored, and uh, we're just here to have a good time. And we support the Haitian community 100%. I am here with the sexy and classy <laughs> Danasi. Well, let me tell you, when I first got this shirt, I was like, oh, I want it. I was a groupie, I was a fan. I was, I was. And these guys have done so much things for the Haitian community. I am so honored, so I, I am lost for words because I really uh, admire you two guys. You guys are really doing it. Like, I am so, so, like, oh my God. <laughs> beautiful people are just, it's, it's a beautiful thing, man, just to be around a lot of positive um, images and honorees and it's, it's something that it's a blessing. We were very popular for the fashion shows on campus and then from there we started interning at um, clothing companies 
right after we graduated. And then one thing led to another. And then Rob wanted to do a cultural clothing brand. And we started it, but it never, it didn't really go anywhere until the 2010 earthquake that happened in Haiti. And we was like, you know, a lot of designers, they do stuff that are very conscious driven as far as fashion is concerned. And so we wanted to do something very conscious driven to represent our culture through fashion after the events that happened at the 2010 earthquake. We went about doing it the right way. Like we trademarked the name and then Sakwase came about and then the rest is history. I am here with the amazing visual artist. Right now he acting like he's shy, but he is nowhere near shy. We over here were like doing back, we was over here going back and forth for like 15 minutes talking about, I can't, I can't live for him. I'm not living for him right now, I'm not. Now, I've seen your artisticity <laughs> Artisticity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the paintings are amazing. They're breathtaking. Each photo, like, it, it, it represents something. Like, I've seen a woman holding, like, standing for peace. Then it was the Malcolm X, the Tupac. You even, even put Malcolm X with Tupac with um, Nancy Mandela, everybody was in there, Martin Luther King, it was just the, the visual behind the story was like wow, it was just like breathtaking. I'm honored to be here, um, as a kid all I was trying to do is express myself, as an artist that's all I try to do, to be honored for, for expressing myself is just, it, it, I'm, I'm speechless, like I don't even know how to you know explain this experience, it, it's crazy. Art is poetry without words, you know what I mean? So, to be able to express yourself and have people, like as an artist, like I try to evoke and, and provoke people's thoughts and, and, and start a conversation and, and you know, I don't want to just be paint on canvases. I want to have conversation. Let's talk about these issues. Like things that people want to ignore, like I want to, you know, share light on them, you know what I mean? So, a lot of my work is mostly about that. Thank you. <laughs> Creole Image Awards for putting this together. Creole Image, did it change your life? Because I know it changed my life. And I'm here today because my brother paved the way for me. That's why I am a legacy babies. This is Greatest Entertainment. Greatest Entertainment. Greatest Entertainment. Greatest Entertainment. Greatest Entertainment. Greatest entertainment.